We'll see you then. Now a breaking news story we first told you about on our news at 4. U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has recused himself from any investigation into Russian interference with the November presidential election. My staff recommended recusal. They said that since I had involvement with the campaign, I should not be involved in any campaign investigation. I believe those recommendations are right and just. Sessions says he did meet previously with a Russian ambassador, but says his seemingly contradictory statements during Senate confirmation hearings were, quote, honest and correct as he understood them. But tonight, some Chicago area Democrats are wondering, is that enough? Eyewitness News political reporter Charles Thomas here now with that part of the story. Charles. Well, Cheryl, for Democrats here and around the country, this new controversy surrounding Donald Trump's attorney general is red meat. We're going to need the full cooperation of the White House and we're going to need the full cooperation of the FBI. House Intelligence Committee member Mike Quigley says Jeff Sessions recusing himself is not enough. He wants the Trump administration's attorney general to resign and a special prosecutor to investigate Russian involvement in the Trump campaign. Were they involved in this? What was said? What were the communications? During his confirmation hearing earlier this month, then Alabama Senator Sessions, questioned by colleague Al Franken of Minnesota, denied any contact during the Trump campaign with Russians. I have been called a surrogate at a time or two in that campaign, and I did have, not have communications with the Russians. But the Justice Department has confirmed two contacts, including one in September with the Russian ambassador in Sessions' Capitol Hill office. My reply to the question of Senator Franken was honest and correct as I understood it at the time. His answer was at best misleading and perhaps even worse. The president's first national security advisor resigned after leaks exposed his contacts with Russians during the campaign. Some Senate Republicans questioned whether a Sessions-led Justice Department should continue the investigation. But if there's something there that the FBI believes is criminal in nature, then for sure you need a special prosecutor. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has joined the call for the Attorney General's resignation. Quigley worries the Republican-controlled Congress will not fund the same kind of investigation that Democrats endured after the attack on the U.S. Embassy in Benghazi. We don't have the resources, we don't have the cooperation, and as a result, the truth will be very difficult to get out. In Virginia today, President Trump told reporters he had, quote, total confidence in Sessions. This story erupts after the president's speech Tuesday night to a joint session of Congress that many hailed as a success. But as we see, 48 hours later, we're back to a full-blown Trumpian controversy. All right, Charles. Yes. All right, Charles.